it's something it's meditative for the viewer i i would imagine it's somewhat meditative for you even you know to create the art um, oh yeah watching that puddle move and sh transform into something else is is incredible it's really cool yeah i can imagine and when do you know when to stop like how do you know when a piece is finished you don't want to manipulate it too much because that's how you get mud but if you see a color that's working its way across the whole canvas and you can actually get it across the whole canvas in a cool looking pattern that's what i aim for and then if i see if i accomplish that i'm like all right done put it down walk away <laughs> so i don't pick it up and muddle it <laughs> Yeah, I would imagine it's tempting. I mean, like you said, you you seem to know from experience what can happen if, if you mess with it a little too much. Yeah. Yeah. And those little bubbles that you get, those don't look like bubbles as much as they did prior. The more movement that goes through that, the less bubbly they are. They get stretched and, and funky looking. But sometimes they're cool. <laughs> <laughs>
Ha ha ha.